Hello viewer and listener, uh, my name is Joseph and uh, today with the Patent Home School we are going to take you through uh, the program of special needs therapy. Welcome. With me I have a boy and a girl. Now we are going to see uh, varied conditions which affect students and children who may be giving parent difficulties not because their own sole intent but because they are differentially enabled. Now to enable us to go through this, there are varied conditions that normally befall children, namely autism, uh, dystopsia, uh, dysphoria, uh, phlegmatism, and so on. Uh, to begin with, we are going to look at autism. Autism is a condition in which you will find uh, the affected child having difficulty in interacting with others and as a consequence also suffers difficulty in communication. It's advisable for a parent with an autistic child uh, not to take the child as a uh, disadvantage or as a, a disabled child but merely as a differentially uh, enabled child. The undue positive regard is a key that will institute and inspire the child to transform gradually and behave normally in the long run. So to be able to handle an autistic child effectively, the first thing is that the child must be taken as normal and not as abnormal. Uh, the second therapeutic approach that the parent should take is to ensure that the child is integrated amongst others. For instance, by being taken to school where they have the opportunity of interacting with other children, the state of aloofness of being solitary is the key to a meditating condition of uh, misinteractionism and uh, miscommunication. Therefore, the ideal situation that the parents should have the child at, at all times is where the child is interacting with others. And there are many other centers which enable such a condition. At the Patent Home School, we provide you a wide range of opportunities where your child will interact openly with others and will be able uh, to associate and as well as to dissociate and in the long run learn the norms of social interaction. Beyond that, in class, the child will be drilled in speech uh, through speech therapists. We have speech therapists who will, in their own acumen, be able to use stylistic devices. Uh, they will be able to condition the child in the spelling act, and we will be able to ensure that in the long run, the child grows gradually in the literary uh, potential and abilities. Phonetics becomes a norm for the child and gradually we use realia to demonstrate uh, obscure things to the child so that in the long run uh, they grow normally. I wouldn't wish to uh, go beyond what is an introduction of merely what could be done to improve a child who is autistic. Our other specialists will take over the norm and we normally prepare a charter in which there is a breakdown of activities in which the child will be involved, which has been schemed from the onset and with a potential vision that in the long run the child shall assume a normal state of interactionism and communication. Uh, the next aspect that we are going to look at is dyslexia. And in dyslexia, you will find that a child has the hidden difficulty in reading. And when you find that a child has difficulty in reading, it basically means that they may not have mastered the lettering system or the alphabetical sequence and the use of words in what we refer to as the phonetics. 
it will be advisable therefore that for uh, a therapist to gradually overcome dyslexia in a child. This child should be integrated also with others and whenever isolation is done it should be mainly to introduce the lettering syllables that will enable the child to be able to gradually speak and pronounce words appropriately. The child will also be uh, captivated by literary works, the written books. So you will introduce a child to a book to continually read so that they can learn gradually even in the absence of teacher. And that will be uh, the onset of therapy against uh, dyslexia. We have a third condition uh, which uh, we will say is a phlegmatism, a case in which you will find that a child is always in their own selfish cocoons, a case in which someone privately keeps to he or herself. Uh, it will be appropriate, therefore, to find a means of interacting with the child. Be friendly to the child, keep them close to you, work with them, and enable them to associate regularly. In that case, you will be enhancing uh, the interaction that is needed to make a learning effective for a child who is suffering from phlegmatism. Uh, we have others who suffer dyspraxia a condition in which you will find uh, there is difficulty in maneuvering fingers or having a slow niche in motor dexterity. So the child needs physical therapy. It could be in the legs, it could be in the arms, and mostly in the fingers, which are an essential tool for a learner. Therefore, we recommend highly that such a child should be engaged in uh, games and conditions surroundings in which uh, the physical therapist will execute maneuvers that will at least ease in, uh, the strains in the joints and the fingers and other sections of the body which have uh, that difficulty. Going beyond uh, what we are calling dyspraxia, uh, we have learners who have difficulty with numbers, a condition we refer to as dyscalculia. Now, dyscalculia is that condition in which the learner has difficulty in recognizing or does not appreciate numbers and therefore uh, potentially have difficulty in executing mathematical problems, be they addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and the likes. Now what is needed here is a role play where you would use uh, gadgets like cubes, a play material that will enhance the learner's attitude towards uh, different mathematical figures. And in the long run, you teach the child inductively through addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. In the long run, you may end up achieving an effective niche where the child uh, begins to learn rationally. As you go on and on, you may find that uh, some children have hypertemperamentals. And this hypertemperamentality comes about through what we will refer to as dystopia. And when there is dystopia, a child may be suffering uh, difficulties in understanding the realistic nature of happenings or occurrences. The background of child, such a child may be one in which there has been some grief or they have had some encounters which were uh, outrightly uh, unique and ambiguous and therefore needs to be brought out. Get to the habit of uh, talking to the child, be, being friendly to them so that at least they can learn the associative way of interacting and share their inner feelings so that we overcome the hallucination that may be in their minds through what we are referring to as dystopia. Uh, going beyond that, 
you may find that uh, the escapism comes about uh, whereby uh, there is constipation and out of that a person or a child may seem ever angered and this is simply a physical condition which can be overcome by simply introducing the child to fluids and other soft food stuffs that will not make them have difficulty in defecation. And once you overcome the asphyxia, uh, you find that uh, you shall have eased the tension which comes about that makes the child angry most of the time. As you go beyond this, you may find that some children tend to deny themselves meals, a state of anorexia nervosa, probably because someone scared them when they were taking a meal, or someone denied them a meal and they are doing a, a reaction impulse against the, what was done to them. A child may be simply seeking to draw attention to the fact that they have been denied and therefore, we can simply overcome anorexia nervosa uh, by giving the child freedom and having meals with them regularly so that they are conditioned to follow uh, in the same steps, day in, day out. Another state that involves meals is anorexia bulimia, where you will find that a child is overeating for some reasons which are unknown, probably maybe because they were scared of something or uh, they have lost hope on something that they had aspirations in. In that condition, therefore, it will be simply a state in which a child is displacing their pain into uh, the consumption of food. It will therefore appropriate again to continually associate with them have regular meals with them and condition them to at least diet and in the long run will find themselves conditioning themselves and walking through the journey and uh, behaving normally. Having said this, we will say that in all our temperaments uh, we have uh, four core domains of persons who may be of sanguine character who are ever optimistic and when you're optimistic, it is uh, a positive trend that should be encouraged rather than discouraged. Uh, the opposite of being optimistic would be pessimistic, someone who always sees things from the negative domain. This will lead to paranoia, a state in which you tend to fear everyone or conditions or feel that someone intends to hurt you when actually there is nothing that brings about worry. How do we go about this? It will be, in essence, an ideal way of conditioning such a person is to keep them in step with the reality. You could condition them to avoid too much of social media interaction because probably the person is watching uh, horrific movies which are bringing about uh, the scaring tendencies on them. Uh, you will find others are melancholic, adversely quarrelsome, and enraged. And probably the best approach to overcoming melancholism is studying the background of the individual. There could have been a problem which is uh, triggering that anger and rage every moment. Uh, this brings us to the view that every time you find a condition, it's good that you should look at the history and the background of such a person, the interaction, the associations, and the relationship that prevail uh, before assessing such a condition. Uh, we will not go beyond as we are aspiring to introduce you to what we are calling our special needs therapy. We want to invite you uh, to the department of the school where we have distinguished and psychologists who are special and ready to always uh, feed and help you in the areas of special. So far as uh, caring 
for the challenge.